transfer window is fast approaching with Celtic only having one game left of the season, that being the Scottish Cup final against Inverness, that can see the club win a world record treble. Whilst our focus is on the final, there will be work being done in the background to begin preparations ahead of the new season. In today's video we will discuss why Celtic are set to make £15 plus million after a recent transfer development, whilst also rounding up all the latest Celtic news, but before we do get into it please do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Former Celtic man Chris Commons has expressed his belief that Ange Postagoglu will not be departing Celtic this summer, particularly not for Spurs. Spurs have recently joined the extensive list of English clubs reportedly interested in securing Postagoglu's services. The London club have made the Aussie manager their number one target as he pushes for his first treble as Celtic manager. Despite the lack of substantial developments or reported contact between the two parties involved, the rumour mill continues churning. However, there are media figures, including Commons, who view the prospect of Postagoglu's move to Spurs as highly unlikely. He said, Ever since they dispensed with Maurizio Pochettino, it's a club that's just been on a steady decline, lurching from one disaster to another. When a club starts sacking their manager every year, it's not a good look, and they become a far less attractive proposition. I look at the Spurs squad and it just strikes me as a mess to be honest. It's going to need a major rebuild in the summer, especially when you consider the fact that their talisman and captain Harry Kane will probably leave this summer. I expect Kane will probably end up at Manchester United at the start of the next season, so whoever takes a Spurs job will immediately be faced with losing their club's best player. I just don't think it's a job that will get Postacoglu's juices flowing. Postacoglu has given no indication of seeking a departure from Celtic. He's maintained his focus on the Scottish Cup final and claims he's not looked past the match which could secure Celtic the treble. As we enter the summer transfer season, we will likely learn more about Postacoglu's intentions with Celtic and any clubs linked to him. Just a quick one guys, we've released our brand new Celtic Champion t-shirts. You can find them at CelticApparel.com or just go down to the link in the description. Ok, let's get back into today's video. Frank McAvenny has suggested Lyle Abada may have played his last league game for Celtic. Speaking exclusively in a recent interview, the former hoop striker said that Abada will leave this summer if he wants a move and the coaching staff and Ange Postagogli will know his plan. The 21-year-old made his 100th Celtic appearance in the 5-0 win over Aberdeen on Saturday for his 13th league start of the season. However, reports in the build-up to the summer have stated that the winger will likely leave this summer in pursuit of more game time, with the hoops liking to listen to offers above the £15 million mark. There have been inquiries from multiple Premier League clubs, as well as strong interest from Ajax and the Israeli signature. When asked if he sees Abada's future at Celtic next season, McAvenny told Football Insider, As Ange has said, anybody who does not want to be there will not be there. There is a lot of talk about him, but Ange sees him every day. The coaching staff see him every day, so they will know if he is planning for a move. If he is planning to get a move, then he will go. He has just come back from an injury, and is just getting himself up to match fitness because that takes a while. You could be the best trainer in the world, running 15 miles every day. You go into a game and it's totally different. AEK Athens owner Dimitris Melisitidis has firmly declared that the star striker Levy Garcia, who Celtic are reportedly interested in, is not for sale, as the club gears up for their attempt to qualify for the Champions League next season. This comes after the Greek side's impressive completion of the domestic double, leaving Miscellanus to send a clear message to any club's eye on his prized asset. As reported by Sun Sport, Miscellanus said, Garcia is not for sale. We're content with him and we'll see how things progress. Now that I'm finally able to enjoy his talents, why would I sell him? Is everything in life about money? He's not for sale. We'll participate in Europe and then we'll reassess. However, it appears that the door may not be entirely shut on a potential transfer, as Greek champions AEK do not automatically secure a spot in the group stages of the Champions League. They will enter the competition at the third qualifying round, and should they fail to reach the group stages, Miller Sanders' stance on Garcia's future may well shift. Celtic fans will keep a close eye on the early stages of the Champions League, knowing that an early exit could bolster Celtic's chances of capturing Garcia. The 2022-23 Scottish Premiership season is now behind us, and in it Ange Postacoglu Celtic were crowned deserved champions. Throughout the campaign the boys never stopped, similarly to their fans who backed the team week in week out. And according to the latest figures, the amount of Celtic supporters who attended Hoops games in 2022-23 was much larger than the number of fans of other clubs who attended their matches. As of the daily record, a total of 1,116,728 people attended Celtic home matches in 2022-23, an average of 58,775 per match. For comparison, the next closest is Rangers, and they averaged a home attendance of 49,116 each game, 
and 933,207 in total. Clearly Celtic draw on much more fans than that of several other clubs, although the boys do play in a larger stadium. Nevertheless, one wonders if other teams would gain similar numbers if they turned into a 60,000 capacity ground each week. Therefore, the Celtic support has to be commended for their truly incredible backing. Former Celtic manager Ronnie Dyler has been at the helm of a fair few clubs since he departed the Hoops back in 2016. Now the Norwegian is set to take on a new challenge after it was recently announced he would be a new manager of Club Bruges. This has not sat well though with fans of standard the age, the club he is leaving to move to Bruges. They suffered a thump and 4-0 defeat to Cirque Bruges on the weekend and at the game their supporters revealed a banner which read, Dyler you will soon see the treatment we reserve for traitors. Obviously Stanley Liege fans were not happy with the 47 year old's departure and the fact Dyler said that they had been no talks days before he left likely made their feelings towards him even worse. Celtic fans can relate to a situation such like this one, Brendan Rodgers. It is not a nice scenario to be in for any club. The Norwegian served as a manager of Celtic from 2014 to 2016. During his tenure he led the team to two Scottish Premiership titles in the 2014-15 and 2015-16 seasons and also won the Scottish League Cup in the 2014-15 season. Despite these successes, Dyla's time at Celtic was not without challenges. The team failed to progress in the UEFA Champions League playoffs for both seasons and made little inroads into the Europa League. Following a defeat to the Rangers in a Scottish Cup semi-final in April 2016 which saw Celtic lose the match on penalties and face criticism for their performances, Dyla announced that he would step down at the end of the season. Despite this, Celtic clinched the Scottish Premiership title following a win over the nearest challengers Aberdeen in May 2016. Celtic fans have a soft spot for Ronnie that the standard the age fans clearly won't have now. Celtic have released exclusive behind the scenes footage from their triumphant trophy day on Saturday, offering fans a unique glimpse into the celebrations that followed their resounding 5 0 victory over Aberdeen. The Hoops, who had already clinched the league title four matches prior with a 2 0 win over Hearts at Tyne Castle, ended their season on a high note with a dominant performance against Aberdeen. The behind-the-scenes footage captures the euphoria and camaraderie in the dressing room post-match. It offers an intimate look at the players' reactions and the unfiltered joy and the collective spirit that has been the hallmark of this Celtic side. You can also watch Joe Hart get covered in champagne. The footage also includes team preparation leading up to the match, the trophy being brought into the stadium and the jubilant celebrations that erupted after the final whistle. It's a rare opportunity for fans to witness the raw emotions and the unscripted moments that usually remain behind the closed doors of the dressing room. Celtic fans, what do you make of Abada? And would you let him go for £15 million this summer? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video guys. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Remember guys, you also released our brand new Celtic Champion t-shirts. You can find them at CelticPower.com or just go down to the link in the description. Thank you, take care, bye bye.